What's up guys and welcome back to episode 14 of my Tech It How To Guide. In today's video will be making a dark matter hammer. Uh, this hammer is very destructive and can be very useful. Um, it's one of the better tools until later in the game when we unlock red matter. Alright, so in order to craft a dark matter hammer, you can find the items over here in the left hand corner in the grid. Uh, once you have them, you place them in the crafting grid like so. And this will then produce one dark matter hammer. Now as you can see, there is a little charging bar down there. This has, I believe, two modes of charging that do uh, deal certain damage, like different amount of damage per charge. Um, I'll actually take a quick, quick break here. I'll go down into my mine, and I'll show you guys just how to charge this, how to release the charge, and just how destructive and useful this can be in mining. Alright guys, so I'm back. I'm down here in my mind. Um, in order to charge this, you're going to need to know what button it is that you have set to uh, to charge the item. Do so by checking your um, controls. And once we scroll down, we can see that you're going to also want to take note of the release charge button. As you can see, to charge the item, mine is V, and to release the charge is Z. Uh, on a side note, this mines, I believe, two times as fast as a diamond pickaxe, and it's indestructible, so the only way to lose it is to fall into lava at this point. So we'll go ahead and hit the V button, charge us up. As you can see, the bars went up. We get it completely charged. Now, if you just stand in front of smooth stone, this is great for breaking smooth stone. You just press the Z button, and for some reason, reason that did not work. The Z button doesn't appear to be working. Um, remind you that uh, Tech It is buggy and doesn't always function the way it should. I cannot seem to get this to work to save my life either. Alright, I'll take a quick break and get back to you. Alright, so I'm back now after many a trial and error. I figured out what the problem was. You actually need to know what the toggle button is set to on your controls also if you scroll back down into here you'll find your extra function button which mine is mapped to C therefore when I hit C as you see it says normal impact mode where it only breaks one at a time and then when we toggle to mega impact mode and we break a block as you can see it's dealing quite a bit of damage it's knocking out I believe a 3x3 three three area which is very useful for mining um, in the next video, I think we're going to get on to making red matter, so be sure, if you're watching this video and you've been following along, to save that dark matter because we're going to need that to convert into red matter. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below, and I will leave a link to the Tekkit Wicca, Wikia, however you pronounce it, so that if you guys are confused or you need a reference guide on how to use the extra features of this dark matter hammer then they'll be down there for you to find anyways this has been too cold and i'm out peace